I was introduced to ENA through the cadets, and I really like aviation in general, I like piloting. There's a big difference between piloting and taking an aircraft apart, understanding all the components and where they go, why they work. There's a lot more responsibility involved. There's a lot more security, it's a bigger issue. Well, what I love about my program the most would be that I really get to see the aircrafts inside and out. I especially love structurals. Everything that structures, repairs. I love the feeling of a power drill, of a rivet gun in my hand. I love the sound of it. Um, being a girl who's never really used tools in my life, this is really exciting for me and I just I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I learned how an aircraft flies, which was my biggest question coming into this school. And we also learned how to identify snags in an engine. Uh, avionics, or thing electricity, uh, structures, and how to repair those snags if they can be repaired. During their stay at our school, our students will learn to operate and verify complex systems. They will assemble and disassemble helicopters and airplanes. They will inspect, repair, and sometimes modify structures. They will learn about aerodynamics, hydraulics, landing gears, engines, piston and turbine, and avionics. If you're a student or if you're working in the aviation industry, you have to be uh, attentive to details, you have to be curious and of course passionate. You have to be the kind of people that we can count on. You're proud to be part of an elite group. Fears didn't really hit me until orientation day when I realized I was really the only girl in my program. And I was feared, well, maybe the teachers will treat me differently, maybe the students won't accept me. But finally it took maybe just a week or two and I became one of the guys. Our graduates will be able to work for any large companies, operators, constructors, and uh, all their subcontractors. And they will be aircraft maintenance engineers, structural repair technicians, non-destructive testing technicians, and quality control inspectors. There are so many choices. The sky has no limit. When I graduate from ENA, I plan on joining the Air Force as an aircraft maintenance engineer, and I want to further my studies in the future, go to IATA and study to become an airline auditor. And one day I hope to work for Transport Canada. It's a lifelong dream.